Hello and welcome back to the Blues Focus channel. Today we're bringing you another match preview. Second episode now, I believe. Um, first one did really well. Um, the response was great. So uh, if you are enjoying them, then please let us know, uh, whether that be down in the comments or even just a simple like. Um, but no, let, let's get straight into it. It's definitely an interesting fixture we've got on Saturday. So um, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Doubt many favour us. Um but anyway, what to expect from Barnsley? Well, the form says it all for them, really, at the moment. Six wins in six games. They're flying. Um, unstoppable, really. Um, the last side you really want to play against right now. But it would be classic Blues to go and turn over a team like that. We are the form-changing side. Like it's, we, we prefer playing as underdogs. We always have. Uh, probably always will. So, um you know, but no, what to expect from Barnsley? Defensively, relentless pressure. That is key. And I've covered this um, on the latest Opposition View video, if you want to go check that out. Um, but no, definitely relentless pressure. Um, they they play such a high defensive line as well, um, as they like to just be constantly in your face, kind of pin you in your own half sort of thing and um just catch you out tire you down and it's risky football but it's it's almost it's like a new version of that high pressure intense football we're seeing it's a lot more intelligent uh, a lot more controlled and composed and it's working for them um you know what um Ismail has brought into this Barnsley side is fantastic you know it's He's not really made many signings. Um, so it is clearly just tactical genius. And um, you, you have to applaud that, really. Um, the team spirit seems so lifted compared to last season. You, you wouldn't believe they were playing the football they are. It's it's crazy. Um, so, uh, no, I think definitely defensively a high, a high press and a high line. Um, going forward, they, they kind of like to have three main attackers um, and they, they're, they're happy. I, I mean, I've spoken to some Barnsley fans that they're happy to make substitutions and switch around three strikers for three strikers just to change up the game, confuse teams. And um, it's clearly working for them. I think, you know, I think it's something mad like their last four games. They've done uh, like for like changes with three attackers all at once. Um, and it just throws teams off. Like you, you don't, you don't know what to do. Um, it makes game planning a lot more tough because you know you've got to cater for different types of players as a defender. Um, and I think it's going to be a really, really tough test for Blues. Um, it's going to be nothing like we've come up against at all this season. I mean, when we played them before, we went one nil up, great. Um, then threw it away, classic Blues. But, but they deserved it. They, those goals they scored weren't pretty, but they, they really grinded them out. Uh, it reminded me of kind of how we used to play under Rauer at that time. Um, but they really, really ground out the result um, and deserved it in the end, uh, down to team spirit and drive and desire. Um, but they, they were playing a bit of a different style then. Uh, they were more mid-table mediocrity at that point. Um, they weren't in relegation worry, but they weren't really pushing like they are now. So they've definitely they've definitely changed their style. They've made some, as, as I'd say, under the radar January signings really, uh, signings that people haven't taken much notice of because um, they're not massive names, but they're, they're doing a fantastic job. Um, it's kind of that risk and reward system they've got going on there at the moment, but they're not spending much money. It's really really smart business and. Um, I think a lot of people these days tend to, um, you know, applaud Barnsley's rec recruitment and it should be applauded, um, especially this season, uh, particularly January. So, uh, no, it's um, it's fascinating to see the way they um, they play, especially going forward. So, um, no, it's definitely going to be tough for Blues to handle. And I'm not I'm not that confident, particularly going into this, because it's uh, Karanka is going to need a solid game plan, but he's the most important thing he's going to need on Saturday is a plan B because I really feel we may need that because um, whatever we try, it may not work. We need to resort to something. And the way Barnsley 
kind of switch up their attacking play. Their defensive play virtually stays the same throughout. You know, that constant high line, pressure in, winning the ball back in, in the opposing third. Um, yeah, the opposing final third. And I'd, I think Blues are really going to struggle because um, we don't like to be on the ball. We're not an on-the-ball side. Uh, I know that's what we're trying to implement this season. Um and, and there are players in there that like to be on the ball, like, you know, your Rakeem Harper, your Hililovic, but not everybody plays like that, um, particularly our defence. Um, so, although Mark Roberts is in form at the moment, he's definitely not one that likes to be on the ball, so he might not be an ideal choice uh, for this Saturday, but I'm sure he'll get picked anyway. Um, but Clark Salter would actually be a perfect choice for uh, this Saturday's game, but I'll get more into that later on. Um no, it's it's going to be tough. Let's put it that way, especially with the way Barnsley are playing. But it would be classic Blues to somehow win 2-1 or 1-0. And I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be delighted, but I wouldn't be surprised because we all know what we're like. Anyway, <clears throat> what to expect from Blues? I think more of the same, really. Uh, more of the same of recent. Trying to more emulate the QPR game a bit. Um, I think Huddersfield, we were just frustrated. And funnily enough, Huddersfield played a constant pressure and a high line. And we we didn't utilise that when I really feel like we could have. You know, we brought on players like Gary Gardner and Scott Hogan and they made an instant impact because they were getting at that high line. And I honestly think if they come on sooner, we might have nicked it. Uh, Scott Hogan obviously missed a sitter, but he he is the type that will thrive against the high line. However... Having said that, I have heard that Barnsley defenders are quite quick, um, but they're not the most physical. So you can make the argument for Duke or Cosgrove, really, but um, we we won't see Cosgrove because he's still injured, still got that little uh, ankle injury nick, um, unfortunately. Um, So I I think he's back in training next week, which is a big positive for Blues. Uh, Striking options is definitely one of our weaker points. Um, obviously, Jonathan Leco or Lico, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Lico can play in a striker role, but we've predominantly put him on the wing this season. Um, so that is an option, but I, we, we won't go for it. He's not, not really Karanka's man, um, of late. So, um, no, I think, I think there's benefits to uh, each, and Juki would definitely relish the physical battle. Um, because I think he'd win the majority of aerial duels. Um, however, Scott Hogan would benefit against a high line. So, you know, I feel like it's a case of try one for one half. If it doesn't work, swap in for the other. That plan B that I was talking about, we we, we need that. Uh, and, you know, we can't be doing with sulking faces um, if if somebody subbed off. You know, we, we, we have to make these choices. Um it's it's football and you know you can be frustrated you can be upset but now now's not the time to be down you need to really back the boys in any capacity you can um despite being frustrated with the team or yourself um so no um, i suppose just a little hint there I, i guess but um moving on from that um i think blues should definitely look to play a long ball style um i think we should invite the pressure um, we should be tight, well knit, compact. Um, really make it tough for them. Don't let them shoot from range, or particularly players like Callum Styles, who can score from range. Um, I think that's where you know an Ivan Sundic would come nicely into play, um, or a Gary Gardner or a Raheem Harper. But that back line needs to be tight, and it. it it needs to be as solid as it can possibly be. And we need fast out balls, um, especially to play a long ball style. So, you know, you could go for two pacey wingers like Bella and Sanchez, and then, you know, you target man Duke in the middle, or you could have a quick front three and just look to break out as fast as possible. But unfortunately we do struggle to get, get teams on the break because that's just the way we don't, we, we don't really want to play apparently unfortunately, um, which is frustrating because I think counter-attacking is a big advantage in this league. I think, you know, that you look at the best teams in this division, um, 
most of them play impressive counter-attacking football. Um, so, no, uh, it's it's frustrating, really. Um, but I, that's what I'd like to see. I'd definitely like to see a front three, almost, of just pure pace um, and technical ability, because I think we'd need that for facing a side like Barnsley. But I would be inclined to have a target man in there like Duke, uh, to bully those not so physical defenders. So, um, you know, th- there's plenty of ways Blues could go about it this weekend for sure. So, how the how the game could play out? Um, it's it's a tough one, really, isn't it? Um, oh, I want to be as positive as possible, um, and I want Duke to just kind of come back into his element. But I think we've all been wanting that for God knows how long, but it just doesn't seem to be happening for the poor guy. Um, however, I I do think Blues could take a shock lead in this game, go 1-0 up. Do I think we'll hold on to the lead? No. Um, I've got this feeling that Barnsley, we could go into the interval level or 1-0 up, um, but I do feel like Barnsley will have that those extra fitness levels um, and that plan B in the second half to really get us and break us down. Um, and that's that's the way Ishmael likes it. You know, you look at a lot of games they play, they do tend to go one nil down. They're one of those sides, but their team spirit is that good. They're not phased like Blues are, you know. And and in fairness, Blues have started to pick up their heads a bit more now when we go one nil down. It's not the same dire, oh, that's it, one nil down, heads down, we've lost. You know, we uh, Huddersfield and QPR are two good examples, and Norwich. Um went one nil down and picked ourselves back up. And that's great to see now because we've lacked that for so long. I'm not saying the team spirit's perfect yet, but it's progressing. And that is so, so important, especially going into a game like Saturday. But I do think we can relish being underdogs. We always have, always will. Um, And it's about time we did that. And um, we've had our fair share of luck at Barnsley away, in fairness. Um, not so much luck against Barnsley at home in recent years, but certainly away from home, uh, we do seem to play well at Oakwell. So, um, no, I do think the game could plan out a, certainly a close one, but I think Blues could nick a goal. Um, however, I just think in the second half, Barnsley will dominate, um, especially when they've made the front three change, because I think Blues will struggle so much. It is... They're, they're all, all the attackers they have have such contrasting styles, but they blend nicely together and the team chemistry is good. They're well knit. Um, so, no, they, they have plenty of options and I just think we'll struggle to handle that. Um, so, I, I'm, not, I'm not holding out much hope, unfortunately. But I do think we could have a solid first half for sure. Um, so, form and injuries, I've mentioned... Uh, I mentioned Barsley form, you know, six in six, uh, pretty mental, unfortunately, for Blues. But, um, you know, our last three games have been positive, um, a win, a loss and a draw. Um, the loss, I thought we were unlucky. You know, we lost that game down to substitutions. And then the QPR game, I think we won due to substitutions, to be honest. Um, and then you look at the Huddersfield game, a frustrating one. And I do think if we tried something different, changed the style a bit, had a plan B, um, we could have easily taken advantage of Huddersfield. I thought they were really, really poor. And so were Blues, in fairness. I don't think we were fantastic, but I certainly think we were better than they were. Um, and they were there for the taking, but we, we just we didn't utilise that. And that's been the story of our season. We've lacked that clinical cutting edge. Um, so now if we can finally find that, particularly with players like Duke, if he plays, um, they can finally find that cutting edge. It'd be huge, huge for our season. Um, so, no, let, let's hope for the best on that front. Anyway, injuries. Um, Blues have only got Sam Cosgrove out. Um, Ivan Sanchez has a groin injury, but he's playing through it. Um, and then for Barnsley, uh, Ben Williams is injured and Liam Kitching. Um two players that have been in and out in the squad this season, but have, have been good. Um, I've, and I've, that kind of brings me on to predictions, really. I feel like I've hinted at what my prediction is going to be throughout the game. Um, 
and you know how how I've kind of hinted at what my prediction is going to be throughout the, the review on my thoughts on the game. Um, and mm, I want to be positive. I want to be like, oh yeah, one nil Blues um, or two one Blues. But I just I I think I'm dreaming a bit to be honest. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it was like three two Barnsley or something like that, and we give them a good go. Um, but no, I do think Barnley will edge out past us, unfortunately. Um, Barnsley will just have enough to get get past us and see out, see out the game because um, we don't really threaten too much um, late on when trying to take the game to teams. Um, we're just not clinical enough, unfortunately, uh, with the exception of games like QPR. But I actually thought we were poor in that second half and good in the first half. But that's football, really, isn't it? So, um, yeah. But no, I think final prediction, I'm going to go 2-1 Barnsley. But my heart, deep down in my heart, is saying 1-0 Blues. Um, and I hope that's true. I really, really do. But my, my head is telling me 2-1 Barnsley, unfortunately. Um, but no, thank you guys for joining me again for another episode of the uh, the match preview. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. Um, I'm really looking forward to this Saturday's game. It's certainly going to be one of the toughest tests of the season for Blues. And I'm not, I'm not going into the game with massive expectations. Um, but if we could come away with something, that'd be brilliant. And I think it's another small step into building on something and just picking up points slowly, gently, working our way up gradually. You know, it's it's not a sprint, it's a marathon at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, but no, thank you for joining me again, guys. Please feel free to check out the Patreon page. Link will be down in the description and you can join our Blues Focus Hall of Fame. If you do subscribe, um, subscription packages are also listed down below. Um, so no, and uh, you know, if if you've if you're new to our content, please feel free to subscribe. If you do, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please drop a like. We appreciate it more than you know. And if you want to interact with us, then uh, you know, hop on Twitter or Instagram or anything. Just j drop us a line or a tweet or whatever. Just just get in contact with us. You know, we like chatting to fans and um, it, it's particularly Blues fans because we all share the same frustrations. But um, no, if uh, if you want to talk to us in the comment section either then feel free uh, but that's it from me today guys thank you for joining me and uh, we'll see how it goes on saturday keep right on